This is Legionnaire. He's told he said to be the worst class in so in Souls and Survivors, according to this person. And this person may be right, but I disagree. And to show that this is a good class, I'm going to try to go into the game with his native skills and see if I can make something out of him. And something tells me that I will want to avail. Uh, how about force? I will want to avail of the quick strike and max out my movement speed as high as I can. But I will do the, what will that do to the quick strike? I don't know. Probably something good. On top of that, I want to give myself a lot of attack speed, which will then again benefit the quick strike. A lot of movement speed, which will benefit the quick strike. And, well, will let me get away from the enemies. And what can help me with that? Bloodloss. So, this is a quick strike bloodloss build, where I'll try to reroll every time to get myself some movement speed. I'll zip around, I'll quick strike very hard and very quick. And this is going to be the build with just the native skills which are normally available to the Legionnaire. And hopefully that will prove, that will improve, prove, improve, what? That the Legionnaire is actually a very good class, and not the worst class. Will I succeed? I don't know. What do you think, Legionnaire? Write something in the comments. I will reply to every single one. We roll. Um, shield bash. Do I want shield bash? Might as well. It's my bread and butter skill, and it hits like a truck, especially at the very start. Especially with two of these Purity and Focus Fire Runes, these let me hit very, very well. Very big damage. And criticals. I also want to max out my criticals. And of all things, I will also take Scent of Blood in addition to the Blood Loss. While Scent of Blood depends on bleeds, I will be, there will be plenty of those. And there you go, Hemorrhage and Multicastros. So now, what's going to happen? Quick Strike, Scent of Blood, Blood Loss. Uh, an armor. Well, actually, how about I just don't take armor? Since I don't really want to scale my defense for the shield bash, I want to scale my movement speed for the quick strike. Try thrusting, ambush behind. Works every time. There you go, bloodless. One other thing that I can replace the, f the Storm of Spears with is actually the Flurry ability, which applies a bunch of blade, which will synergize well with this skill build if I'm going to take the center of blood, which I also will do. Which means and that I'm actually open for some other ability. Because, well, I want to replace this. And what is that ability going to be? There you go. Quick Strike. This is my bread and butter skill for this one run. And I want to see if I can make it work. Frailty. So, Bleed, Frailty and Hemorrhage. So, I'm only benefiting from 35% of Purity, but it's still the damage that I didn't previously have. So, I'm not going to complain. Ow. Oh, it's painful. And I probably don't want to take the Shield Wall again. Because I took it before in the prior run. Hmm, wound. Yes. Big damage. Magnet. Okay, now, what do, do I want to replace Hamerish? Hamerish is very strong. So I think in the end, I'll probably end up replacing the shield wall with what? With what? The center blood? I think it is center blood. Yes. Okay, whenever I get center blood, I will take away the shield bash and just have the few frontal skills, which is a bleed, and, and the center blood. So with Flore and Thrust, I will apply bleeds very very rapidly multicasters yes and i need to not forget to banish the on hit effects of which there are many i don't want them i seriously don't uh armor kind of good though 25 at uh, 24 out of nothing yes please count me in i will replace this so crits because so the elites are dying left right and center okay so i don't want this no multicast uh Banish the on hit effect. No reroll? Oh, magnet. Actually, very important to have the magnet nice and early. Frailty. Frailty is also important. Now, why do I like it so much? Damage buff. And it's actually very good with the flurry and the storm of spears because they hit multiple times. And well, the more you hit, the higher chance of applying frailty. So more hits, more damage. Simple. And Death War 6, no thanks. Eh, oh, frailty. There you go. I'm not seeing the scent of blood though, and I am very displeased. Um, area? Oh, maybe frequency. Everything into frequency. Oh, there's a boss here. Hello. Oh, you're doing your explosion things. Um, maybe I should stand in that. Did he die to bleed? I think he did. Oh well. I hope he didn't have family. Shield wall? No. Uh, damage of frontal skills 40%, which is all of my skills. And uh, Leviathan. Well, Leviathan reduces my <laughs> movement speed. Grants more attack damage 
And since I will crank my movement speed regardless, I probably want this. Though this counterintuitive, I want to improve my movement speed, but I'm actually gonna reduce it to improve my damage. I mean, in the long run, I'll probably want both, though I will just take my movement speed, if, if that makes sense. Area damage, criticals. All the crits, all the time. And like, I don't technically even need to aim, because this one single Storm of Spears ability passes through every single enemy, so be it the range isn't actually great. You'd think you'd go further. Area of type area, Bloods, Lust and Flurry. I like Area of Flurry because it is kinda short, but no, not this time. Multicast of Quick Strike, yes please. Damage of Storm of Spears. Banish this. Damage. What does more damage? I think Storm of Spears is very good at this stage. I haven't gotten my Scent of Blood, but something tells me that Scent of Blood is actually a swing ability. Damage of various skills, yes. It must be a swing ability. I'll need to check that. Mm -hmm. mm, more experience. Yes, please. More levels, more damage. It is just that simple. And frailty. All very important. There's a boss there. Hello. Big damage. Big laser. Nah, my damage is bigger. Uh, frailty applies bleed. Since I have bleed anyway, might as well just take that. Barrage. None of this. Aerial flurry. Damage of the quick strike. Yeah, crank the damage. To say I want to rely on quick strike a lot. I want to go for that. I want to prove that. And actually, in the end, I want to see quick strike to have done the most damage. In the final stats, criticals, yes. And criticals will actually help me with that. High base damage skill, high crit, all the good stuff at the same time. What is doing more damage? I think Shield Bash is doing more damage, but quick strike has a lower cooldown. Oh, trust. This is catching up as well. And here's me thinking that I actually have the chance to get the scent of blood. But hey, this build is good enough. Is it good enough for Curse 7? I don't know. This is Curse 2, I think. Uh, cast of Thrust. It's attack speed of Thrust. This is a fireworks lad. And he's dead. Yeah, I definitely want to replace one of these with Swing to give myself, well, scent of blood for even more attack speed. Uh, Multicast Quick Strike. And mind you, I can ditch the purity completely and replace it with swing, and it will open me up to even more on-hit effects, so that multiple things can actually can actually stack bleed for me. Because you know, crits can stack bleed, uh, fragility can stack bleed, and a bunch of attacks can also do the same. Oh, critical strike has strike can can stock bleed. Yes. This is the one I was talking about. So, what's gonna happen, I'll probably try to teach the purity and see if I can go with the on-hit effects build. With Swing, the Scent of Blood. And Scent of Blood will replace the dash, the Shield Bash. And I'm not even sure, at the 100th mastery for this guy, is there yet another thing that can be used? Will there be an unlock at the 100th? I hope there is. And it better be something powerful. Because at 60, I think, I unlocked the Shield Wall. And it's actually glorious with this build. Uh, multicast. Glorious with this character. Now, oh, looking at this, do you still think that this character is not good? Do you still think it's the worst? That's serious. I'm that serious. Write it something in the comments. I'll reply to every single one. Mm -hmm. Kill the lead, kill this guy. Mm, I think damage. Where is the boss? There it is. Just die. Yes. Very good. Uh, frequency. Good. And I think I go into one round of infinite. Unless I don't have time. And I really kind of don't. Okay, so if you're watching this far. Wow. Well done. Thanks. How do you like it? How do you like the build? Let's see the damage. Is it quick strike? Storm of Space is the MVP. It has so much bleed in it. Wow. And I've beaten the game in, in under 10 minutes. Very, very good. Very close to that 100 as well. Okay, if you watched this far, write something in the comments, I'll look at every single one of them. And cut!